Hi everyone. So we're talking today about how to improve the way you use language to write a better maths DI. One of the things that you need to focus on, which is outlined in your How to Write a DI booklet, is the difference between using active voice and passive voice when you're writing. So let's have a look at this example. Harry read the book. We need to be able to talk about language, so we need to have the right words to do that. So we need to be familiar with words like subject and object. The subject of a sentence tells us who is doing the action. So when we look at Harry read the book, the subject of this sentence is Harry. So we're going to label Harry subject. What Harry did was he read the book. So the verb, the action, is read. And what he read was the book. So the object is the book. This kind of sentence, subject, verb, object, is called an active sentence because Harry is actively doing something in this sentence. In order to turn this sentence into a passive form, we need to flip a few things around. So what happens when we're moving from the active to the passive is that the object becomes the most important thing in the sentence and goes into subject position. This is the new subject. We need to now turn our sentence around so we can finish it off. So the book, not read, but the book was read. And it was read by somebody, and the by somebody is the agent, whoever it was that did the action. So Harry is now going to go at the end. So the book was read by Harry. <clears throat> so if I say um, Jane bought a boat, this will become my new subject. So the boat, Jane will become the person who did it, by Jane, and my action, my verb, will become the boat was bought by Jane. If I use the next example, I have, I measured the temperature with a thermometer. The subject of this sentence, the person doing the action, is this pronoun. In fact, this is called a subject pronoun because it's telling me <coughs> who did the action without actually specifying who the I is. The action was measured and the thing I measured, the object, was the temperature. In order to make this sentence passive, I need to make my object the most important thing. So I'm going to start with the temperature. My subject goes at the end. So if I did it, it was done by me. What was done becomes was measured. And then I've got this bit at the end that tells me how it was done. I can put that on the end. So now I have the temperature was measured by me with a the thermometer. Now this sounds odd. And it's good that it sounds odd because it tells us to get rid of it. 
So once I get rid of it, I end up with the temperature was measured with a thermometer. Now if you're doing an experiment, it doesn't matter who measured the temperature. What matters is that it was measured. So the temperature was measured with a thermometer. Now it does not have a person allocated to that verb. There is no I, there's no you, there's no he, she, we, you or they. There is no subject pronoun. This means that this sentence is now impersonal. Now when you're writing a formal piece of writing for a science pack report or a maths DI, it's really important that it's presented as factual and not just something that you think or you did. You need to make it sound professional and more academic. And this is one of the fastest ways of making your writing sound less like something you would say and more like the kind of writing that you would expect to see for this kind of task. So, the I measured the temperature with a thermometer would become the temperature was measured with a thermometer. If you have a look in your booklet, in your booklet you'll notice on page 5 there are some diagrams that show you exactly the same process that we just went through on the board. So the example the water was tested has come from Mary tested the water. Mary is no longer important here. What is important is that the water was tested. So the water was tested. In the second example we have I used a measuring wheel to find the dimensions of the netball courts. What's important here is not who found the measurements. What's important is that somebody did. And so we have in our passive form a measuring wheel was used to determine the dimensions of the netball court. There's no I, there's no he, she, we, you or they. There is no subject pronoun in that sentence. That's what makes it more formal and that's what makes it passive. On page 6 in your booklet there are a number of exercises that you can do to help you practice this skill. So we have the verb which is investigated and we have the verb now becoming was investigated. So the idea was investigated or the ideas were investigated. If we look further down, for example down here we have discovered, we have the percentage was discovered or the percentages were discovered. If I look further down, used, an example is formula. You wouldn't say I used the formula, you would say the formula was used or the formulae were used. So there is no I anywhere in these passive sentences. You'll also notice that the verbs are doing something special. So if we have a look at what happened to the ones on the board, we have Harry read the book, the book was read. You have I measured the temperature and now we have the temperature was measured. Jane bought a boat, boat was bought. Okay. I studied the results, the results were studied. So to form this verb in the passive form we put was or were in front of it. So, I measured something would become something was measured. I calculated something would become whatever it is was calculated. If it was more than one thing that was measured or calculated, my was would be replaced with were. So the dimensions were measured. Okay. Um, 
the results were calculated. So it just depends on if it was one thing, singular, or more than one thing, plural, as to whether you say were or was calculated. Okay. So back in your activity book, you'll find a number of examples that you can practice this with, all through pages six and seven. So you can now have a go at those. If you need to watch the video again, then watch the video again. Ciao.